We all know that the sun isn't made of white light, but it's in fact made up of many colours. We see it in the rainbow. But what we want to do in the lab is to have a look at this. And we're going to have a look at using a prism like this. Many of my students have never actually seen one of these in action, yet it's something we talk about all the time. So I thought we'd better have a look and see how a prism works and what we can do with it. This is a prism. It consists of a triangular piece of glass. Nothing fancy about it other than it's nicely polished. One of the properties of this is that when light goes through this prism it's refracted and different wavelengths of light get refracted in different ways. So the red is refracted differently than the blue and the purple. And so the light is spread out into its spectrum. To set this up, it's not that difficult, but we do need some special setting up uh, surroundings. We need darkened room but we need bright light from the sun outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this on my windowsill, draw the curtains and see if we can project this onto a screen. I've now moved to my windowsill. We've got a retort stand set up and I have my prism. Now all we need to do is set the prism up in the retort stand and clamp it into place so that now we can get the light shining through the prism and into the darkened room. What we now need to do is to isolate this by drawing the curtains as much as possible so that we can place the curtain behind the prism and then to cut out again as much light as we can in the room so only the prism shows and now the light will be deflected onto the screen. Now we need to put up a piece of card to act as a screen and I've positioned this several feet away from the prism and we can hold this in place so we can project the prism onto the card. There we can see the image of the spectrum. We can see our red, orange, green, blue and maybe your indigo and violet. So what can we actually do with this prism and make it useful? Well we've got a prism in equipment like this. We've got here a simple hand spectroscope and it's got a prism in here and we can look at something like the sun or a light source and an element and the prism can split up the light so we can actually look at the individual wavelengths. Now this isn't very good and we can do better with something like this which is an electronic version of the same thing with the prism to split up the light into its wavelengths and then this we can put out onto a screen and we can analyse the type of elements because each one produces different colours that we see in the spectrum. <laughs> 